Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, another haul. This is actually not the second part of my haul. This is technically a third part. Um, I recently saw that Priceline was having one of their skincare bag sales and I was in need of picking up a couple of new skincare products. So I decided to take the opportunity. So basically spend $69 on skincare on certain brands. It's majority of the brands in Priceline anyway. And then you end up with this gigantic big fat bag that's worth over $400 which is amazing there is so many full pro um, so many uh, like full size products in here so I have a lot to share with you guys so if you guys want to see what I purchased and also it's inside the bag then just keep watching so I will show you guys the things that I purchased to actually get the bag now Bondi Sands was actually included in the deal which is super exciting because I actually needed a new one of my favorite fake tan this is the Bondi Sands uh, self tanning photo in dark this is just my holy grail I absolutely love it so I purchased one of those and then I also needed a new eye makeup remover I've never actually tried this one before but this one is by Garnier and it's their two-in-one express eye makeup remover and this is supposed to remove um, like waterproof makeup and all that kind of stuff and I do wear gel eyeliner so um, this is really really good for that and it's one of those ones that you have to shake up so it's like a two-part thing and it turns purple which is really pretty so I ended up getting that one and I liked the fact that it actually had a um like a squeezy pump lid thing the last one that I actually purchased is one of those ones that it was like a screw top lid and that was just it was a hot mess so I ended up getting that one um, and then going on to Bioderma because it was actually part of the actual brands that were included which was exciting now I am a complete Bioderma lover now some people either agree with me and say that Bioderma is the best and some people love the Garnier micellar water you know there are heaps and heaps of brands that do micellar waters now but because I'm so in love with Bioderma I will continue to purchase it and that is okay for me and if you guys don't agree with that you guys can keep on going with whatever brand you like but I do like um, Bioderma personally so I actually ended up getting a baby size of it for when I go on my holiday in a couple of weeks this one is how big is it this one is a hundred mil so I was actually planning on taking this one on the plane ride with me because you are allowed a hundred mils on the actual airplane so I'm just gonna pop this into like my travel uh, makeup case and that will be really really good to fresh because I'm doing a 24 hour flight to the UK so that will be handy and then I also ended up getting just two things from Sukin so the first thing is an act is a actual repurchase and I have run out of this um, a couple of weeks ago and I feel so lost without it this is the Sukin moisture renewing night cream and this is super hydrating and really really good it smells amazing it's paraben free um, it's just a vegan certified um, all natural range so it's amazing um, absolutely love this stuff and I honestly I feel so lost without it it is so bad so I ended up getting that and I was recently watching Crystal Conti and um she was talking about rosehip oil and how it's been really, really good to her skin. So I wanted to try rosehip oil out again because I remember it used to do wonders for my skin and then I actually lost it. So I repurchased the Sukin um, Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. This one is preservative free and it is amazing. You get a little sample of um, something inside of it as well. So this is what the little bottle looks like. This one is just the 25 mils. It was $16, which is still pretty good. That's going to last me a while and they also give you a little sample size of the protein hair treatment in there as well which is good so that's everything that I ended up purchasing to actually get the bag now I don't know about you guys but I absolutely hate the bags that they give you um, I mean I'm not gonna like criticize it too much because I mean it's a lot of products in there but I will never use this bag again so um, besides the ugly bag and the ugly color that is inside um, there's a lot of products to get through so I will We'll go through it and share with you guys what I got. So I'm just going to pop it on my lap and hope to God that I don't go out of focus because I'm further away than the camera than I thought. Um, so anyway, first thing that I grab is one of the most exciting things because I was actually going to purchase this to get the bag. A new self tanner mitt. I know it's probably the most boring thing out of it, but I was super excited to get it. It's by Bondi Sands. Um, also, there is a 400 pack of Swiss Bears ear cleaners. I'm going to go through this really quick because there's a lot lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, next thing is super exciting is the Dr. Lewin's. This is the uh, multi moisture balm. Um, 
really, really good. It's just like the Elizabeth Arden one. I think it's Elizabeth Arden. Yeah, Elizabeth Arden um, 8 hour cream. It's just like that. And it's the same kind of color as well, which is cool. Um, then you also get two packs of um, like makeup removers. So this one's by Swiss Biz. It is there with mango extract. So I haven't tried those before. And then there's also the formula 10.0.6. This is the Keep Me Clean Clarifying Facial Wipes with Witch Hazel and Cucumber. So I'm excited to try that. I love this color as well. It's super, super pretty. Um, you also get the L'Oreal Magic Blur. I haven't tried this one, but I have tried the other L'Oreal uh, Skin Blur or whatever it's called. I've tried that and I do really, really like it. Um, you also get a self tanner in here. This is the Le Tan Fast Tan in Dark Bronze. I haven't tried the Dark Bronze, but I have tried the Bronze and I do really, really like Le Tan. So I'm happy that I got that. Um, this I actually tried as soon as I opened the bag. I've never actually heard of this brand before, but it's called Roskin. It's the Intensive Moisture Hand Cream for Very Dry Hands. Now, I don't get very dry hands in winter, but I like to have a moisturizer on before I go to bed. And I also get these really annoying, like, pulley things on the side of my fingers. They drive me mental. So, um, hand cream is my best friend, and it smells like clean laundry. It just smells really fresh, so I'm really, really happy that I got that, and I can imagine myself repurchasing it as well. Um, there was one thing by Jergens in here, and I was really intrigued by this brand, because um, I know that people have been raving about it, and I've never tried anything from it before. So this is the Jergens Original Body Lotion. Um, I have so many body lotions in this bag, it is nuts. So I don't know how I'm going to get through them all, but I'll give that one a go because I've been really intrigued by their brand recently. Um, another body butter that we ended up getting, or yeah, body butter, it's the Palmer's Shea Butter Formula with Vitamin E. I think this is just like the traditional one um, that always sells really, really well. So I ended up getting that one. Um, there's something from Lano Lips, which I've never tried before, but I've heard that the golden ointment is supposed to be amazing and it's actually quite expensive for a lip product. I think it's about 20, I think on sale it's like $23. I think originally it's like $30. So for a lip balm, like it is intense, but um, they ended up putting in the, um, this one is the Bizarre Harper's Hot 100 2013. So it must be good. Um, this is the color tint and lip ointment in the color rose. So I'm super excited to try that one because I've heard great things from Lana Lips. So excited to try that. Um, something from Neutrogena. This is the Deep Clean Facial Cleanser and this is the one for normal to oily skin. Um, I have already got a cleansing oil that I really, really like. So I don't know how I'm going to go about changing cleansers right now. Um, but I can always, I have... So there's so many girls in my family like I'm sure one of them will use it um, the last skincare bag that I ended up getting my mom and my sister ended up like salvaging so much stuff from it I actually still have my last skincare bag from the last one that they had and I've still got tons of products in it so they do last a long time and I'm sure I will get through it eventually um, this one I was actually going to give to my younger sister because she's coming into like beauties Lord, I know. Um, this is the tea tree and witch hazel toner. Um, and because she's starting to get tiny little pimples and stuff, she's only 10, but um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to her because she can definitely benefit from that as well, which is good. Um, then also we actually got this in the last bag as well, and I still haven't used it, but I really want to, I just forget about it. This is the Aven, is it Aven or Aven? I'm not sure. Um, this is the Thermal Spring Spray, and it's just a really nice refreshing um kind of like a face mist almost. I actually remember when I used to work at Priceline in as like a cosmetician and stuff. Um we used to have a lot of pregnant ladies and also a lot of menopausal ladies coming in and they'd be like, oh my god, I'm having a hot flash. And I'm just like, girlfriend, spray this on your face. And um, they loved it. So it's definitely a hit for those ladies. Um, there was also a Burt's Bees Pink Blossom Tinted Lip Balm. I've actually never purchased anything from Burt's Bees before, which is really, really strange because I was always intrigued by their range, but I never purchased anything from there. So it's just a little tinted lip balm. It's actually really pretty. Let's give this a quick swatch. There's not too much of a tint. It's just very, very subtle, if you can kind of see that. 
So continuing on, the next thing that I ended up getting is the Noxa Organic Brightening Eye Cream as well. Um, I really haven't, I don't think I've tried anything from the Noxa Skincare range, so that's exciting. And I actually don't have an eye cream right now as well, so that might be good. And does it come with a squeezy tube? It does, which is exciting. So I love things that come in squeezy tubes because it's super sanitary. And this one is enriched with organic aloe vera, avocado, macadamia, and rosehip oil. So that's super exciting. I'll definitely give that a go and see how it goes. Um, so excited to try that. Um, another thing from Rosehip, this is the Rosehip Nourishing Hand Cream. Actually, I want to give this a smell and see what it smells like. Um, it actually smells pretty good. It smells very organic, which sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of, but... It smells very organic, but it's not bad. It actually feels quite nice. It doesn't feel very greasy, which is good. Um, the next thing that I ended up getting is the an uh, Antipodes. I always used to say Antipods. I knew it was wrong, but it's Antipodes. This is the Skin Brightening Serum, and I've actually wanted to try this for the longest time. So I'm so happy that it was included. And how freaking cute is that? Oh God, it's so cute. It's like, it's 10 mils, but that's like that is so cute oh my god it's the little things that make me really really happy so i'm super excited about that um there's also a nivea lip balm this one is the vanilla and macadamia i never was a massive fan of these which i know a lot of people were but i wasn't really one of them i like the pink one i think that one's nice but i was never really a fan of this one so i might give that one away um there's also a la roche posay and this is um a lip balm and this is the barrier repairing balm lips and chaps this is for cracked and irritated zones so it comes in this cute little tube it's a 7.5 mil product and oh that's really cute the little lip dispenser so i'm excited to try all these new lip balms i'm gonna have the best lips in winter i'm so excited so that's awesome um and then i also got another thing from sukin and this is their detoxifying clay mask and this is part of their super greens range which is really exciting because i haven't tried it yet um but let's give this a smell it smells doesn't smell the best but that's okay hopefully it's good um we'll give this a go and um yeah hopefully it's good so we're getting to the bottom of the bag now there's a couple more products left so this next product is by biore or however you say it um i think this one was actually in the last bag i'm pretty sure but um i think i like giving this to my younger sister um just because she is in that teen in that teen age, you know what I mean? Um, so this is the Pore Unclogging Scrub. It exfoliates and refines. And this is deep cleansing. It's salicylic acid, um, salicylic acid oil free. I don't know, but I'll give that away to someone. Someone will get use out of it. Um, the last couple of products, then it's not too many left. Um, so the next thing is just a Key Sun Orange Zinc Stick. Oh, okay. Um, so this is SPF 50. This is so, so cute. Is it like... Let's have a look. Let's see if it's tinted. Oh my god, it's tinted! That's so cute. So let's um oh my god. <gasps> Holy crap, that is like so so like crazily orange. It smells like sunscreen. So the next thing is the pure pawpaw ointment, and I am not really the biggest fan of pawpaw ointment, to be completely honest. Um, I just find it's too greasy for me, so that's included, but I don't think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. And then the last couple of things are just samples and vouchers. So you get a little sample of the Montage Juvenis, I don't know, I don't know. Um, this is the Blemish Mud Pressed Aloe with Deep Aloe Juice sounds intriguing um, then you also get literally the cutest little sample of this polish that's all it says polish dr robux.com.au this is just i'm assuming like a really tiny little sample um so yeah we'll give that a go and then there's also a garnier miracle skin cream this is their newest one i believe this is the skin cream anti-aging skin uh transforming care and i think it's an actual cream that comes in like one of those squeezy tubes because i was gonna buy it um and there's also literally the cutest sample ever of the nukes um this is like their dry oil 
um, really good stuff. I actually have the full size of this and it's really, really good and it smells amazing. Um, and then the last thing that you get as a sample is the Antipodes uh, Vanilla Pod Hydrating Day Cream and I've been wanting to try this for ages so I'm super excited that I got a sample of that. Um, so the last couple of things are just vouchers. So you end up getting a um, your choice of a, ooh, a free Inoxa product worth $17.99. That's good. Um, then you also get a, um, oh my god, there's so many free things. This is amazing. Present this voucher to receive a free Garnier Miracle Skin Cream so you get the full size of that for free. Um, then there's also just some, I think it's just some info on, I don't know what. And then you can also get a free Model Co Nature Skincare Cleanser valued at $14.99. So that guys completes this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you picked up at the Priceline skincare sale and if you are also happy with the bag and let me know what your favorite product is in the bag as well because I'm super excited about this bag. This stuff lasts for ages. I'm very excited. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.